Okay, good morning. I'm Zach Walker, City Manager for Independence. We're back out doing another one of our City Manager job shadows. Today we're going to find out what goes into doing meter reading for the city. We're joined by Luke. Luke, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, how long you've worked for the city? Well, I've, since I was able to work, I've been working outside, so I love working outside. And I've been doing this come January, it'll be five years. Awesome. And uh, an average normal day, a good day is a lot of walking. Uh, you get a lot of questions because of course we're the face of IPL that people can actually see. Yeah. So we get a lot of some, we have no idea the answer. So we send them to where they do know, but uh, a lot of dogs gets loud. <laughs> But, no, you, you're carrying some tools here. Tell us a little bit about some of your uh, technology right. here. So this is where all the information goes. It's iTron. Okay. When we read a meter, put it in here, mm -hmm. water and electric. Mm -hmm. Some of the RBs or some of the meters of the water is in the basement. So they have little sensors on the side of the house so we don't have to go inside the house. Uh -huh. And the others are wells. And no matter what time of year when you open a well, something is going to fall on top of the meter. So we carry a nice stick to clear the meter off and it takes care of spider webs and branches and stuff like that, it's multi-tool. All right, so if you had to guess, how many houses in a day are you getting to? On average, I would say between 250 and 300, wow. two meters at each house. Yeah. yeah, and are you like the postal service? Are you out there no matter the weather or? For the most part, uh -huh. I mean, it's, I think if it's too slick, uh -huh. I mean, we tend yeah. to stay off of it. If uh, it's pouring down, We'll stop and sit in our trucks and wait. Right, right. Yeah. But otherwise, heat, otherwise cold, we're, you guys are out oh, there yeah. doing the thing. We're living it. Yeah. Awesome. All right, we'll go try this out. All righty, sounds good. All right, so Luke, I'm going to give this a shot and try to not screw up this poor customer's bill reading their meter. So tell me how this works. All right, just read from right to left. Nine. Yep. Seven. Zero. Three. Four. And that is where most customers think that they know how to read their meter and they get mad when it's wrong. But in actuality, it's nine, six, nine, two, four. Ah. Because that being on a nine will uh -huh. tell you that it hasn't been all the way around past 10, so that hasn't reached seven yet. I see. So that's okay. why we read this one, or this one depends on that one. I see. So yeah, okay. so it's nine, six, nine, two, four. So you air towards the number prior to that if it's not made it all the way around yet. Correct. Okay. Yes. And then you enter that. And then I'll put it in here. Nine six nine two four. It took it, so it's good. And then does the next address pop up after that? Yeah, and I already did the water since okay. we were in the front yard. Okay, Mike. Uh, how many of these meters are we responsible for reading every month between water and electric? A little over 110,000. Okay, so 110,000, one might think that there's a great opportunity for human error there. Um, what percentage of those do we know that we have an accurate read on each month? Uh, last month's reads were 99.1% accurate. So less than 1% Less than 1% some were some kind of error. Error, on. yeah, okay. dirty meter, glass was dirty. Sometimes you get a water meter that's dirty and you try to wipe it off, but you misread a three for an eight. Uh -huh. And then we just, like I said, we go back and recheck them and make sure they're accurate. But otherwise that's a pretty high success yes. rate for uh, accuracy. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. If a customer is not home and their gates are locked, what we'll do is we'll leave them a card to let them know we were here and that they need to contact us with email or fill out the card and mail it in so that we can get their read and uh, get their bill sent out in a timely manner. When a water meter is inside the house, usually in the basement, they put a little sensor on the house that I will use this to get the read from. It codes it out and then I can put it in my iTron. All right, Luke, we've been out here following you, seeing a little bit what meter reading looks like. Uh, you haven't gotten us bit by a dog or Do stung by a bee or bit by a snake. So thank you. All You're my welcome. worst fears have not been realized. <laughs> um, seems like you come across a lot of different stuff when you're out here, though. Um, yeah. Some interesting. Sometimes there's some pretty cool stories that come out of this a while back ago. 
you came across one of our residents in her backyard. Tell us a little bit about that story. Um, actually, I was about right at two blocks away and I heard a lady yelling Paul. And it sounded like there was a little distress in the voice, but I, I took it as she was looking for someone named Paul and was worried about him. So I just kept in my ears out and was listening and I got about four more houses read and then I heard her say help. So I turned around, followed her voice. She kept talking, so I kept hearing and finally got to where she was at and she was laying on the ground, definitely couldn't get up. She was an older lady. I believe she said she 93 and a uh, great gal named Alice. And uh, I, I went to her, asked her if she needed help and I told her I was gonna call an ambulance. She said, call my son first. So I called her son. He didn't recognize the number, so he didn't pick up right away. So then I went across the street and got Paul, who she was calling for. And then he went in her house, got her phone and called her son from the phone that a number he recognized. He was, he came out, already called the ambulance. But while we we're waiting, we made sure she was comfortable, we kept her out of the sun because it's one of those hot days and uh, gave her some shade and a pillow until the her son got there. But I was, I was glad I was able to hear her. That is an awesome story. Um, not only I'm sure is the family grateful, but really goes to highlight the kind of awesome people we have working for the city and really appreciate the compassion that you bring and really helping everybody here in the community know the good men and women that work for the city of Independence. Really appreciate that, Luke. Thank you. Thanks for not getting me bit by a dog today. Thanks for all the work you do out here to make sure our utility customers are taken care of every day. Um, mm -hmm. And really appreciate everything you do for the city. Thank you very much. All righty. It's good to hear.